All right, guys. <sighs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. We are going to look at spiky stuff today. Because with the upcoming changes, I've realized that you can splash in rules into decks that have scrolls that activate their effect when they deal damage. And there's a couple that do that. Let's actually limit that a bit to creatures first. So first off, we can look at each resource type actually. The Dust Runner. When it deals damage to a creature with 3 or less health, that creature is destroyed. And that means that if you put Spiky on the Dust Runner, and something runs into the Dust Runner, and it has 3 or less health, it dies. Instantly. So this turns Dust Runner into a Conditional Slayer. Uh, there's nothing for the Guard, nothing for the Marksman, nothing for the Reaver, and nothing for the Freak. But if you look at enchantments, Spiky would combo with Blast Strike. So if you put Spiky on a creature that is enchanted with Blast Strike, then whenever that attacking creature runs into your Spiky unit that is enchanted with Blast Strike, all the adjacent units would also be dealt on magic damage. So that turns Spiky into this sort of mass AoE uh, retaliation tool. And that's pretty cool. And no, I don't have a haircut. I've just changed my hair. It's just a bit long. <clears throat> so with energy, we can already see a bunch of potential. We have Blast Strike. We have Dust Runners. I suppose that that's really it, though. Yeah. There's nothing else, really. But... If we move over, I will take a look in order as well. Let's see, do we have anything that deals damage and then does something? No, not quite. Okay, how about growth? Hmm, yeah, if you put Vitriol Aura on a creature that has Spiky, then the attacking creature will get poisoned. Here's an even better one. If you put Leeching Ring on a spiky creature, then the attacked creature will get healed too. So that means that it cannot actually be killed by anything with two attack or less. And other than that, there is the Breaker. So when the Breaker deals damage, it gets plus one attack. If it has spiky, and something runs into it, it will be dealing damage. So we'll immediately turn into a plus one attack creature. And these fellas don't do enough. But here's an interesting interaction. If you put Spiky on an owl, and uh, something runs into that owl, the sister of the owl will get an attack buff. So Spiky owls might just be a viable method. I'm gonna see now if there was anything I missed. I don't think so. So, um, so it's basically Vitriol Aura. We can actually list them down here. The Breaker. And I guess it's the owl who's actually doing it, but it's always written on the Sister of the Owl's X. For energy, it is Dust Runner. It is... Where is it now again? Where are you? There you go. The Blast Run. Nothing for order. And uh, okay, anything which will get the new poisonous trait 
would have that effect. It won't actually count that, because that is how poisonous work already. But for example, here we go. So you put Spikey on the R Heart Disciple. Something runs into him. The opponent idol on the same row takes one damage. Something like the Pest Simulator. It works kind of like the Blast Strike, only all the adjacent creatures next to the attacking creature in and the attacking creature will become poisoned. The Life Stealer will work just like the Leeching Ring, which I actually forgot to put up here. There we go. And the most interesting interaction comes the, with Erva. Because what Erva does is, whenever an undead you control deals damage, Erva will make a ranged attack, dealing two physical damage. So if you put Spikey on your undead units, and they are run into, then Erva will make a bunch of ranged attack. In many cases, she will even kill attacking units before they can reach her. So we definitely are going to have her in. If we're gonna make a combo deck. And there's something else here. Let's see. Slayer. We put in a Slayer Vestige and an Ilmar Hunter. That turns Spikey into essentially if you run into a Spikey unit, you die. So now you might wonder how do I give all these different things Spikey? And well, there is a lingering spell that will do that on a mass scale, and that is Ruse. So this is the glue for the deck, and we can see here from this overview that it would probably work best with a decay order kind of deck. So we're going to get rid of the energy, we're going to get rid of the growth, I'm going to see if there's enough here to make a decent deck. It doesn't fall fail if we don't draw this particular combo piece. So what we could do for starters is add a couple of undead units. So this would work on the scavenger construct. Because it is undead, so this becomes a wall that gets spiky and that will trigger the Erva. These fellas are probably too weak. They only have two health. And yeah, the Blade Husk definitely not. Slayer Vestiges, on the other hand, I think these fellas fit the deck. I think the Harvester fits the deck. And we also have stuff that can create undeads through the Shroud of Life. So with that, any thing could become an undead. So we're gonna put in as many herbs as we can. We are then gonna fill our deck with uh, these other guys, the Arhart. He goes in. The Dissimulator. He goes in. All right, we need a couple of hunters. Just realize we need some more ruse. Okay, and uh, now we probably need more constructs. So I might have to try to get draw from the construct, in which case I want to surround it with cheap units, if possible. So, then we could use an Anuavor combo with it. And uh, I suppose we put in stuff like the Ripper then. 
would put in something like that's the pestis can actually create rats if the spiky kills something. So we could actually make that happen by using curse in combination. So we're gonna throw in the curse monger. We are gonna throw in a the rot eater because he's just an overall solid unit. And let's see, there's a thing else here that will destroy stuff. That will also trigger from the spiky. Then we're gonna put it in. And yes, there is the corpus collector. And uh, now we probably need a little bit more durability. Maybe something to draw us actually the ruse. So rattle. Yep. That's great. Come on. Just need one of them. And I realize with Nurse Needle, you can lock down a unit and force it to run into your spiky stuff. And that can be handy with the pestis. So we definitely do that. We need a little more life stealers, I realized. Okay. And then we take a look at this deck and see if we need to fine tune it a little bit. And I suppose what I would do is get rid of the construct. An anima war. Because they are pretty static, they are an additional combo in a deck that heavily relies on getting one combo out. So getting two combos out might be too hard. Getting slayer kills, I mean getting spiky kills in order to trigger pestis might also be tricky. But we kind of want to have fun with this deck as well. Yeah, I will have Blight Seed when it will be buffed. I'm not sure if I can put it in now, but we might make room for it. Blight Seed? Okay. Anyway, I've already actually made this deck. It's right here. And the only thing I'm missing from this variant... I also forgot to match. You need Tether Recruits in order to get the order. But the only thing I'm missing here is probably a rattle hems. I guess one would be enough. Let's do that. And the restless bones. Too niche in this sort of deck. Instead, I can throw in. Something like pestis, just to have some fun. Okay, so this is our experimental deck, and we are going to give it a go in quick match. And hopefully, we'll get a couple of games. Well, I realize though that right now I don't need to make a super competitive deck. But ideally, you'd have a deck that could stand on its two feet without you relying on the ruse. So if you don't get the ruse, you would play like a sort of general poison curse deck. And if you draw the ruse, it suddenly becomes a defensive deck. So the way it would work is that you could kind of protect yourself against early game aggression. Primarily, you know, versus the G aggro and the O aggro decks. And that way, you can survive long enough to actually pull off some late game plays. Because this will probably be a either D mid range or D control deck.
So actually, I don't think we're going to get a quick match here. And ranked, no, because the problem is with ranked, if I get lower in my rank, I will just end up playing against more aggro. And I don't want that. I'm really tired of the G aggro decks. Alright, we might just jump into AI. But afterwards, if someone in the chat is actually in the game, enter a quick match. Then we'll have some fun. Okay. We have combo potential. I'm gonna drop the tether recruit, follow it up with Blight Seed. Even two tether recruits, I don't need two of them just yet. Hmm. Now we get rid of the pestis. What I've noticed, Cheesy Maester, is that uh, you have the G aggro decks, and they are really widespread in the low ranks. But in the upper ranks, you still have people playing something like O Control, like LGO. So that's what I mean. Alright, we have some ruse here, but do I wanna. I'm gonna get rid of it. And I am gonna drop a light seed. So let's just flip. That will give me some stuff. Okay, combo wombo time. Mmm, didn't get much. Oh wow, we can play another light seed actually. Huh. Is that worth it? You know what, I think it is. And hey, we just play out these. So that basically turned into a draw two scrolls and summon two husks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I realize that we can actually get out the Urva right now. And it's probably a good time to do so because I can play the ruse next turn, and that means that I can pull off the combo. And I can even pull it off with a passive simulator. So hopefully this will be pretty interesting for you guys to see. And pass this. Okay, can I afford all that? No. So we have ruse going on. These undeads are now spike. Okay. You know what? Let's put a Slayer Vestige here and put Pestis on the Urva instead. So the combo is a go. Did he run into it? Nope. I suppose he didn't. And I will drop down to some more stuff. Like, hey, why not a life stealer? Oh no, we got rid of the pure... Ah, oh, crap. So with that, there is no Pestis fun combo. But there we go. The Urva kills the attacking things. And huh, that did not work. 
Okay, I guess that for some reason. When pest assimilated deals damage to a creature, that creature and adjacent creatures become poison. Could have sworn that that was supposed to work. We'll try it again. Because okay, so that is spiky, that is giving the pest assimilator spiky right now. So if something runs into her, it should get damage and then the ability should trigger. So it looks like Mojang has a bug. No, that did work. Did I miss something before? No idea. Okay. And what we will do is... So that will still be up for... Okay. We'll do that and that. And we'll put down a life sealer. And that will kind of work like a blocker. It did work, Ashra. I'm not sure what happened the first time around. I might have just missed seeing things. Oh. Okay. So he's going to run into it now. Let's see how it works. Yeah, this is weird. That one didn't get poisoned for a reason. And that is super weird. And he was damaged by the spiky. If I have to make a guess, it's due to the positioning. Like, because he's in the middle here, it doesn't activate. And that's incredibly inconsistent. Cashflow, I put spiky on it, so when something runs into it, the poison should spread to all units there. Yeah, so this is just super weird. It's probably a bug. We got a Tell Cornelizer. Raguel. Bug with Pest Dissimulator. Let's see. Code for that. Alright. Let me just write this down. Three, four, five, five. Copy that. I don't have an account. If some of you guys could submit uh, this bug to the bug tracker, that would be really great. Alright, so we are going to run away. Run away. Put down the blade husk, our heart, and a husk. I'm going to have to do some serious bug testing here, because this is not how it's supposed to work. This thing ended up being poisoned when it ran into this, uh, this Mikey pest dissimulator. This did not, and the only thing that was different is that he was on the front row, and he was not on the front row. So like maybe the code, the game engine, thought that this thing was being attacked by the pest dissimulator because he was on the front row. So the pest simulator could reach him in an attack. Whereas this, this Royal Vanguard, because he was blocked by you in front of him, the game kind of interpreted the events as the pest simulator not reaching him through the attack. And that's just super weird.
Okay, and back. So I couldn't get the site to work properly for me. And instead, I'm just going to try and win this game. Actually, I'm going to restart. And I'm going to do some testing and see if it works properly or not. So Emma is up for testing. Uh, let me know. And I will add you. Why can't I? All right, so the volume is also bugged. Still? Hmm. By the way, something that I think Kratstash told me about. If you search for twitch.tv and scrolls, my name is on the first page or something like that. Along with Bethesda. And I think it was something like, what's it called? One of those big uh, streamers. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, the Pansy Man and the Owl stream. Yeah, great slash. All I said was I just reminded, I just told them about what you told me earlier. If you search for twitch.tv and scrolls, my name is there, along with along with um, Pansy and the Alt Stream and a couple of others. I wish the audio volumes and things. This is just broken now. Okay, let's put down a blade house and then put light seed on it. Put down a tethered recruit and keep on sacking. All right. I wonder if I can safely. Lay the blight seed here. And why not? I think we'll be fine. All right, so we got the ruse combo. We can pull it off now. We just need to make sure we combo with something hopefully useful. So let's put out a life sealer, lay the ruse, and then go for resources. I think that's the safe thing to do right now. That really sucks. Okay, so he still has spiky. He won't actually die from anything. Slayer will kill something immediately. So let's do that. There you go, the Slayer effect. Triggered by a spike.
I really think that his deck has potential with the next patch. Because Roos will then deal two spike. That's the only issue, is range undo. But uh, so long. Yeah, I mean, so long as you have, I think, some sort of alternative method of controlling the game, it'll be fine. Like, you can have a mix of spiky focus and poison control in a decay deck. And that way, you can deal with all these G aggro, all these O aggro decks that will still be popular. You can deal with the over control decks like LGO, and you can deal with the uh, E mid range and E control energy decks that focus on automatons or whatever. Because they will also still be relatively samey when it comes to subtypes. Alright, I'm gonna drop some stuff here. And I'm not going to play Ruse. I'm saving one linger duration for that. All right, so now we're going to play Bruise, and we're going to see if we can combo it with something else. I only have one undead on the board, unfortunately. But hey, it's something. Let's give that a go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I am. Let's see now. This would kill that. Alright, we like that. The Astral is not affected by the spike, unfortunately. Oh, maybe I should not have bothered killing that. Potentially mistake. I'm just gonna prepare. Oh wow, I could have killed the guy if I just thought that one through a little bit better. Okay, now we definitely have a chance. Let's see what we're gonna do here. We want the undead sound. As many as possible. So this would be a pretty funny turn, I think. Okay, one more round on that spike. Gotta make use of it. 
as best as we can. Okay, we don't need the R heart. We kind of need our rattle him. It's one of the last 12 remaining spells in our deck. So until then, we just need to block up a little bit. And then, yeah, something like this. I'm going to be wasting two damage from this Erva. That's just so I can get into better position to use her when this goes off. All right. It might look dire. That's probably why I need some more poison control elements. And that's going to be a lot easier when the cluster hex is a lot more powerful. All right. Yes, rattle him time with Ruse. And then we'll be able to get in deep there with the Pest Assimilator. <clears throat> Blade Husk, Harvester, and there we go. Poison everything. Sure, unfortunately, that row is dead, but hey, I tried. Oh, and the offensive desperation. So what can we do here? Could get rid of her. And that turns that into a blocker. We can actually take out an idol. And uh, then do some shenanigans. Oh, that's game. No, not quite. Well, if he runs into one of these fellas with a melee unit, it's not quite game because he has covered up here now. We are close though. We are pretty close. And I suppose that with the new changes, this will become a lot more fun to play and actually a lot more effective to play. And we won. More or less. We just need to trigger our harvester, which we can actually do. Although I'm sure there's a fancier finish here. 
like what if I let's see what can I do here that would kill it that would not so if I do that dies and then I do that do that and this this and cluster hex for maximum BM. Okay, let's play this in quick match. And in the meantime, we'll watch some games, which is the most popular one. All right, Dracul versus Inksk. It's a ranked match. Growth. All right, there's a match. Perfect. All right, someone with the fox head. So we got a decent start here. We have a tether recruit, we have like a standard undead sort of follow up here. Okay, we'll keep these. Wish I could just remove sound. I guess we don't want him to die just yet in case we can take out something with his attack. Prisoner of War doesn't quite fit this. Indeed, money well spent. Okay. Let's put down a Harvey. So we kill that thing. We don't actually kill it. And we get rid of his evader and we run away. And if I can draw into another soul steel to get rid of the striped fang bear, that would be pretty great. But he's not gonna be a threat anymore. This might be though. You could get Crimson Bowl and uh, a Ragged. Okay, I need that Ruse pretty soon now. We split up because it's likely that he has an attack buff. And I only want one of my things to die in, which, in that case. Alright, I'm fine with that. Come on, there's our ruse. Hmm. Alright, let's focus on this one. So the ruse combo is a go, and he can't run into this with the Great Wolf because then it dies. And we can also drop down an Ilmar Hunter for a little oh, slayer potential. All right, so he's planning on. Playing rallying and having this fellow die. 
interesting. Then we will follow it up with double in my hunter. Hmm. Let's see just how mad things are going to get. All right, here we go. So this wolf is dead. This wolf is dead. Does he not realize that? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so I traded two slayer units for two wolves. Pretty crazy. <sighs> so I think that versus growth, Roos is going to be really fun. Like all he's doing now is dealing damage to himself. It's not viable just yet, because Roos is only one spike at the moment. So we are going to have to wait for a patch for more fun. Let's protect that idol. Okay, now we need to draw our second ruse. Hopefully we'll get one. If not, I wonder if I could prepare for light save combo. Probably. Let's do that instead then. Okay, so that is going to survive, and that will give us a bit more to play with this turn. Hmm, don't need that. Cluster eggs, not quite enough. And that, and there we go, that's our turn. So the problem is right now, without Roos, I'm playing a subpar Decay deck. I might have to go with Triple Rattlehem in order to ensure that... Let's see. Yeah, more than 10% of my deck will uh, be the combo. Okay, there is the Rattlehem. There is the ruse, and yeah, interesting stuff, I guess.
Having access to AoE damage will also be really handy. Alright, Pest the Simulator goes down with Curse. So that would be so much more powerful, but harder to play in the future patch. So all of these fellas would hopefully be poisoned, unless this is still bugged up. You never know. Okay, he avoids it. Let's see what we can do in return. Erva is probably going to be too expensive because even if I draw into an undead, it's only really the blade husk and the husk that I can play here. So we get rid of her. Ooh, we don't get anything. Unfortunately, I believe that we have lost. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't the next update. So yeah, that is the spiky... What am I going to call it? Uh, the thorny deck. This is the thorny deck. And it is a DO control deck. I've decided to make it control. Alright, that's the end of the game and the end of the stream. Yep, Puppet Soldier is handy as well. I think that going to just focusing on the spiky, so triple. You'd have to lower the creature count a bit, I guess, to 20. And then three Rattle Hymns, three Ruse, the Curse from the Cluster Hex will work really well with Poison. So you throw in some Poison stuff, Infectious Blight, Brain Lies, and the... what's that dude that Poison stuff? The Blight Bearer. And then it will be a really decent deck. And we'll finally get some variety. This will be the second DO control deck. The other one being the one that revolves around Puppet Soldier and Horn of Ages. So we finally start to see some diversity. But yeah, with that, thanks for watching guys. And I'll be streaming again.